I got you. No. I got you. Get. Come on. Blue. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go. To the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck. She's gonna fucking freeze to death. How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get her warm. She's gonna freeze to death. She's gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. I tried to help him. I just... I said I started to go. There was another. Clem tried to help him. He just... Nobody's damn ball. I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit. Yeah, Teddy! Fuck you. Another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help? How is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got a light? I thought I had matches. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? I believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. 
Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing. All right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch. But he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago. Just before I met Cap. Alright, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Wish they'd finished this place. Want one? 
sure. <coughs> huh. Do you remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? I felt real bad you believed me. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? Go on. I try not to have any regrets. Yeah? I wish I could manage that. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I think people respect me. Really? I think so. Well, good for you, honey. You know, I've been all over, run with a lot of people, a lot of men, and listened to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, they're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked. It puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out.
They had to try, right? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. It works, but I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arvo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation. But maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. Think about that, Kenny. Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Okay. You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean... What if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to not trust anyone, and that we should stay away from cities. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. 
Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. Uh, I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. What's going on? Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clem. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. Keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem, okay? Who, Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. Just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. It's not like a cold. No, it's probably not. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. 
We didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Doug? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Have you ever been that angry? One time. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? No. Maybe we should have. I don't know. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes, that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. I wouldn't do that, I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> well, let's try to get some sleep. Hey, Lee. out from the shock. Am I gonna be okay? You should be. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian, but Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to House. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. 
Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny... That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just sit there. Jesus.
Jane? Kenny! You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane! Jane! Wait. Oh, thank Christ. Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? What did you do? He's... What are you saying? No. No! No, not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Jane, get out of here! Clem! Now! Get out of my way! Kenny! How could you kill a fucking child?! I didn't kill him! It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny! I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! I'm warning you. We can't kill each other. Not after all this. We're all that's left. Stay out of this, Clem. Clem, stay back. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck off! Fuck you! Stop! Please! Let go! Jane! Oh my god! This is all your fucking fault! Piece of shit! Just go! Kill her, Kenny. I'm sorry, darling, but I did. Go. 
I'm right behind you. lost you, buddy. I won't let you out of my sights again. I thought that Jane might have killed him. I, I was thinking the same thing, Clem. That's why I was so fired up. She never wanted the baby around. She, she made that clear. Yeah, I, I guess, but I just... Why would she... She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda and was looking out for herself. Hey, listen, I didn't want that to happen either. I thought she'd killed Alvy Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Just imagining what she did to Alvy. Everything just went black. You were right about her. She was unstable. Always just looking out for herself. Yeah. I wanted to be wrong. I did. But it was clear from the start. Come on. Let's put some miles between us and this place. You want me to hold him? Nah, he's still light. We're fine. Come on. I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Alvy. We got this. <laughs> you cheated. We did it, Clem. That's... that's gotta be it. I... <laughs> I can't believe we found it. It's about time. You were telling me. What are we waiting for? Come on! This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls. We'll finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapons. Approach the gate. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Sounds good. Hi. I'm Edith. Name's Kenny. And this here's Clementine. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. Look at him. What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. Can you let us in? We're really hungry. What? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. They 
hell's this? That's some supplies. Food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are kit. you giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Things might change you in a few months. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. So we're supposed to just take this and go? But, but, we have a baby! This, this is hard for me too. I don't want to turn anyone away, especially children, but... Just take the kids! What? Please, just take the kids! It's too dangerous out here for them. Kenny, it's I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please. Well, I'll ask. Just give me a second. You don't need to look at me like that. This is for the best. We're not staying here without you. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are! It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. We can take the children, but... Just the children. I made the case that... Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? This... This is your chance. For you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you two safe. Not anymore. Please, I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here, where it's safe. Where you two will have a chance. No, no, no! Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way. For both of you. But think about Alvi here. Please, Clem, just do as I'm asking. This one last time. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. No! We're leaving. All of us. Together. Clem, please. It's safe here. You need to Stop. think about the... Stop! Okay? We're not staying, so just... Sounds like... Sounds like she means business. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Come on. We're leaving. I'm only supposed to give out one per group, but... Look. If you're in the area, check back in a few months. We might be accepting people then. Thank you for the help. And, uh... Sorry for the language. Well, it's a shitty situation. We're all doing the best we can. You all stay safe out there. You're as stubborn as a damn mule. Yeah? Wonder where I got that from. <laughs>